maybe it's time to start video blogging again. It's been um, a while since I've done anything, like two and a half years since I've posted anything on YouTube. I feel like I can't get my hand far away enough from the screen or the phone to see my whole face. But uh, life is good right now. Um, I just got back from a month and a half long trip to China. I went to a whole bunch of different cities. I went to Beijing, Shanghai, Xi'an, where else did I go? I also went to Chengdu and Chongqing, in a place called Hongzhou. So those places were all super cool, super fun. China is an amazing place. It really is. The culture, the experience is completely different than anything that you can get in America. The people are, there's just so many people, so many people. Like you're walking shoulder to shoulder with these people and there's no space on the road whatsoever, especially during like holiday times and whatnot. There's honestly just no space around you whatsoever. But something that makes up for that, because um, I know a lot of people, especially I think us Americans, aren't very comfortable with um, no personal space. Something that makes up for it is wherever you go, like there's always something to learn. There's always some, some bits of history. There's always some bits of culture that you can learn about or you can experience. And it's just an amazing, it's an amazing country and it's, um, something that I always wanted to do I think since I was young is to get out and visit Asia because in my mind it was just some magical fairy tale place that you know I'd always thought about going to and always thought about visiting but never thought I'd actually get there um, so it was really great that I had this chance and this opportunity to finally get there and go to all these places see all those things that I never thought I would like the Forbidden Palace the Great Wall the Terracotta Warriors um, Waitan in Shanghai. There's just so many places that I never thought um, I would get the chance to see in my lifetime and I, I managed to see them all before I turned 21. And so it was a great, it was an amazing experience and I loved every second of it. And so I'm super thankful to the family that sponsored me over there. Thank you, Julie. I miss you and your family a lot. Um, and will be forever eternally grateful for the uh, help that you provided me in getting over there. So thank you so much. And I had the amazing experience of going to Chengdu and meeting my current... Maybe it's time to start video blogging again. It's been um, a while since I've done anything. Like two and a half years since I've posted anything on YouTube. I feel like I can't get my hand far away enough from the screen or the phone to see my whole face. But uh... Life is good right now. Um, I just got back from a month and a half long trip to China. I went to a whole bunch of different cities. I went to Beijing, Shanghai, Xi'an. Where else did I go? I also went to Chengdu and Chongqing, in a place called Hongzhou. So those places were all super cool, super fun. China is an amazing place. It really is. The culture, the experience is completely different than anything that you can get in America. The people are, there's just so many people, so many people. Like you're walking shoulder to shoulder with these people and there's no space on the road whatsoever. Especially during like holiday times and whatnot. There's honestly just no space around you whatsoever. But something that makes up for that, because um, I know a lot of people, especially I think us Americans aren't very comfortable with, um, no personal space, something that makes up for it is wherever you go, like there's always something to learn. There's always some, some bits of history, there's always some bits of culture that you can learn about or you can experience and it's just an amazing, it's an amazing country and it's um, something that I always wanted to do I think since I was young is to get out and visit Asia because in my mind it was just some magical fairy tale place that you know I'd always thought about going to and always thought about visiting but never thought I'd actually get there. Um, so it was really great that I had this chance and this opportunity to finally get there and go to all these places, see all those things that I never thought I would, like the Forbidden Palace, the Great Wall, the Terracotta Warriors, um, Waitan in Shanghai. There's just so many places that I never thought 
um, I would get the chance to see in my lifetime and I, I managed to see them all before I turned 21 and so it was a great it was an amazing experience and I loved every second of it and so I'm super thankful to the family that sponsored me over there thank you Julie I miss you and your family a lot um, and will be forever eternally grateful for the uh, help that you provided me in getting over there so thank you so much and I had the amazing experience of going to Chengdu and meeting my current sorry my video just cut off but I also had the chance to go to Chengdu and meet my current girlfriend she's amazing she helps me with so many things in my life right now and she's just she's an amazing person she's honestly one of the kindest people that I have ever met like she's incredible it impresses me when I'm just walking down the street with her how many opportunities to serve she can find in just the 15 minute walk from the taxi to the, the restaurant she is incredible and I think she's gonna help me a lot she already has helped me a lot I like I see how I can change and how I can become better through um, her example and so I'm really thankful for that that's great um, but I had a great time in China what I want to start doing is recording some of my experiences over there and uploading them to YouTube so that I can remember them for um, the rest of my life and that also my children and my family members will be able to see them and watch them um, so I'm gonna take some time I think I'm gonna write down first like scripturally not scripturally script how do you say that is there a word for like, that I'm gonna write down a script sorry people keep freaking calling me and it's the most annoying thing in the world because it just interrupts the video but I'm gonna write down a script of like what's happened to me in China um, and the experiences that I had, and so I'm gonna upload those so um, people can can learn about that and see what I got to go through and uh, the chances that I had to explore the country. So I'm looking forward to that, and I hope you're all looking forward to that as well. Right now, I'm just I just got back into Dayton, Ohio, and I'm taking my dog for a walk right now. It's beautiful fall time. I love it. We're just walking around, having a good time. She has, I don't think we've ever taken her to like a, a major, like a park even close to the, close to our home. So I think this is her first time getting out and exploring. She's probably having like a senses overload, smelling all the different things out here. So I'm sure she's loving it, but yeah. Ohio's great, I'm just trying to find a job right now. That's basically what I'm up to and I'm just gonna do that until January when I go to Hawaii for school. So I'll, Make more videos, upload them later, more video blogs, talking about what I'm going to be doing or what I'm up to in the next couple months, next couple uh, days, weeks, so forth and so on. But thanks for watching. It's good to be back. Glad to connect with all of you guys again and myself. So see you later.